Alright guys, so it's time to mix some race gas. This thing is uh, almost done, but before we finish it up, we need to break it in. Uh, that's what we usually do. We break in the bike and then we finish everything up. We clean it so then it's fresh. As you can see, I still have all the wheels on. So once we have it break in, warm up and do all the good stuff, we're gonna get the wheels finished, do all the graphics, and this puppy will be done. Hey what's up guys, Rano here, we are at Dirt Bike TV Garage with Jake Clark, we're gonna break in this YZ125 and also jet it, make sure everything runs 100% and we are ready for some good testing. As you can see we are using a Klotz R50, we're gonna mix it 32 to 1 using a C12 race gas because this engine is built for the race gas only. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, I'm helping Rado out with his YZ125 build, and the engine's been completely rebuilt by Brad. The cylinder and piston were all set up by TMR, Tom Morgan. So they're really, in theory, this thing's ready to go hit the line. But we want to break it in, take our time, which isn't that big a deal. A lot of people, like their you know, grandpa or their dad taught them, heat cycle it in the garage, let it run for 45 seconds, let it cool down for 12 minutes, do it again for 48 seconds, and then let it cool down for 13 minutes. They have some crazy formula, right? That doesn't let any air hit the radiators. So you start it up and you warm it up for about 20, 30 seconds like you normally would. Just, just getting the radiators warm, maybe 45 seconds, okay? Just where the, you can feel the radiators getting warm with your finger, and then go ride it around, just real slow. If you have an area with an empty field or a road where you can just putt around, and you're just running through the gears, like first, second, third gears, bop, 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 and just kind of giving it, and then come back, just, ch then I'm coming back, I'm not letting it heat cycle per se, I'm just looking over the bike to make sure there's nothing leaking, no oil leaking, no fluid uh, leaking, uh, anything like the, anything crazy going on. I'm looking around the cylinder to make sure there's nothing loose, anything like that. Then I'm going to go back out. Now I'm going to start running through all the gears, and I'm not going to hold it wide open for a long period of time. I'll hit wide open, but just for a second, I'll go, um, uh, you know, as I'm going down in third and fourth gear, I'll just hit wide open, but only for a split second, just making sure nothing feels like it's crazy wrong. Other than that, you're ready to go. If something goes wrong in the build, uh, it's going to go wrong. You know, so there's nothing you can do about it by taking it easier, so to speak. If a, if a circlip or something was to come out or anything like was a break, it's going to do damage and it's uh, what it is. So we'll have some fun breaking this thing in right now for uh, Rattle. <laughs> Alright, so I did a couple rounds, back and forth, uh, first, second, third, maybe fourth. And now we're gonna look everything over, see if everything is there. We are not leaking any fluids, not missing any bolts. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and hit it a little bit harder.
did play with the air screw a little bit, the bike runs really good, but it's still not 100%. I think we can still get a little bit better response on the throttle. It feels a little bit rich on the bottom, and we just feel that it can be a little bit more crisp. So we're gonna go back in the garage, we're gonna take the tank off, uh, loosen the carburetor, flip it to the side, and then we're gonna replace the jet. And also we're gonna check the needle and make sure that everything is where it's supposed to be. This is a Tom Morgan... Uh, ported engine and it's also big bore this is the package that Tom Morgan does from the beginning till the end and he also gave us a chart a recommendation for the jetting <laughs> So we are back in the garage and as you can see uh, we removed the tank and we loosen the carburetor, flip it to the side and uh, got the access to the jets. Uh, so we took out the pilot jet and also the main jet. Now it's very important that you are super precise with those jets and you make sure that uh, the number you have, uh, you know, it's correct. So we have this recommendation from Tom Morgan and as I said, uh, we're just gonna go a little bit leaner. So we got one, uh, one step leaner main and pilot, put it back into carburetor. Once we have it back, uh, you know, just close the carburetor on the bottom, put everything back together and then jump on the bike and see how it feels. We can still play with the air screw. That's what we're going to do. We're going to ride it and adjust the air screw and we should be spot on. <laughs> guys so the bike runs and feels really good man I couldn't be more happy how this uh, thing runs so now we know everything is good everything is running the bike is broken we need to go back take our wheels off rebuild those wheels clean everything real nice and uh, do our graphics from Decal MX uh, it will be matching everything we have here we're gonna also have some uh, frame tape from Decal MX and just make sure that this thing is 100% done. Well, my friends, well, that's about it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. This is how we break in two-stroke engines. You don't have to go through crazy heat cycles. Uh, if you have engine done right, it should be uh, as easy as we did it in today's video. All right, my friends, well, that's about it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. This thing sounds good. And don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.